Welcome to the Mogul Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm going to talk about my DoorDash cashback stacking strategy. So for those of you who already use DoorDash, you know that this is a great app to use, or you can use their website to have food delivered to you as well as groceries. But this also comes at a cost because DoorDash has their delivery fees. They also have their service fees. And then you, of course, want to tip the driver who is bringing the food to you, who's providing that service. And so in order to make some of the money back from the service fees or just in general, the purchases that you're making with DoorDash, you can use this cashback stacking strategy to get some of that money back. And so the first level of any cashback stacking strategy, if you've seen any of my videos, is of course using a cashback credit card. And so I have a few options that I'm gonna talk about in this video as far as credit cards that you could use. Some of them I have used, some of them I haven't. Uh, the first one that I'm gonna talk about is the City Double Cash Card. This is a card that I personally use. You get 2% cash back on all your purchases, no matter what category. And so you get 1% cash back when you make the purchase. And then after you make your payment on your credit card, then you get another 1% cash back. So this is a great card for you to use just in general, but also you can use this as a basically a comparison. If whatever card you're using is not getting 2% cash back, then you wanna use this card. If you're gonna get more than 2%, then use any other credit card that you may already have. And so the next card I actually have, but I have not used personally with DoorDash, and that's the Costco Anywhere Visa card. Now you have to be a Costco member in order to have this card. Of course, once you're a member, you can apply and you can get this cashback card. It is a great cashback card in general. And I actually did a review talking about this card, but whenever you make a purchase with a restaurant, then you get 3% cashback on those purchases. And so because I have not used this card with DoorDash specifically yet, I can't guarantee that it is definitely marked as a restaurant whenever you make a purchase on DoorDash. And so if you have personally used the Costco card with DoorDash and you know that you've gotten that 3%, make sure you leave a comment below so that we know that this is a card that works specifically for DoorDash. But it should work. They actually mention on their website, and I've also seen a few posts from other you know, blogs and other websites where they mention the Costco card as far as using it for delivery sites. And depending on the card that you use, it may or may not be marked as a restaurant when you use it with DoorDash. Now, as far as cards that specifically call out DoorDash as an option for a specific category or being accepted as a special category, you have the MX Gold card. With that card, you get four times points whenever you use it with DoorDash. I have not personally used that card. I don't personally have that card. But the next card I actually have used with DoorDash and I personally use for this cashback stacking strategy, and that is the Chase Sapphire card. Now with the Chase Sapphire card, when you use it with DoorDash, you get three times points. And they also have a special offer right now where you can get the Dash Pass for free for one full year. Now, if you use the Dash Pass, you know that it's $9.99 per month. If you don't have the Chase Sapphire card, or if you don't have some other card that may also be offering that free one year, this is the only card that I am aware of that's giving you that free one year with the DoorDash or the Dash Pass and that pass is normally $9.99 per month. Now with the Dash Pass, you get free delivery, you get reduced service fees, you get 10% off of the service fees as long as you have a restaurant order that's at least $12 per order or a grocery order that's at least $25 per order. And so with the Chase Sapphire, with this offer that they're providing, you don't have that $9.99 per month fee for a whole year. And so you're getting no delivery fees and a reduced service fees with this offer as long as you use your Chase Sapphire card when you make the purchase within your DoorDash app. And so if you don't already have the Chase Sapphire card, I will have a referral link provided below in the description so that you can sign up. When you sign up for the Chase Sapphire card using my referral link, you will get a bonus 60,000 points as long as you make at least $4,000 worth of purchases within the first three months of having the card. So you get those bonus points. That is on top of the points that you're already going to receive from the purchases that you make with that credit card. There are a lot of people that love this card, especially if you travel a lot. So they have bonus travel points where you get 25% more when you use your points for actual travel purchases. And you also get bonus points for travel purchases, for gas purchases, as well as specifically DoorDash where you get three times points. So make sure you check that out. Now, one additional option for a cashback credit card is the M1 Finance Rewards card. Now, currently this card, there's a waiting list for it. 
So if you're already an M1 Finance or M1 Invest user, you can go ahead and join that waiting list. But if you've never used M1 Finance, it's actually an investment application and you can actually use this app to purchase stocks. But with the credit card that they're coming out with, as long as you own one of the stocks that you're going to earn cash back on by using this credit card, you can get up to 10% cash back, which is then used to purchase fractional shares of stock in that specific company. And so DoorDash happens to be one of those companies. Uh, within their tiers, they have a 10%, a 5%, and a 2.5% for specific companies that they have listed on their website. DoorDash is in that 2.5% tier as far as the cash back that will go towards purchasing DoorDash stock. And so if you're already an owner of DoorDash stock and you use the M1 Finance app, once you actually apply and get the M1 Finance credit card, anytime you use the M1 Finance Rewards credit card with DoorDash, then you'll get 2.5% cash back, which is then used to purchase that same amount in stock on the platform. And so again, this credit card is still, there's still a waiting list for it. Once it's actually available or once I actually have it, I'm going to apply for it in 2022. I'll do a specific review talking more about that credit card and the available companies that you can use to get cash back with that specific credit card. Now we're going to move on to the second level in this cashback stacking strategy, and that is using the Flues app. Now, if the Flues app, this is a cashback app where you can connect your credit card or even your checking account. And then you can buy gift cards to the specific stores that you want to make purchases with and then use that gift card to make your actual purchase with that store. And so DoorDash is one of the stores available within this app. And with DoorDash, you can get a range of between 1% cashback up to 4% cashback using this app. And so the base cashback with the Flues app for DoorDash is 1%, but they also offer up to 2% every once in a while when you check the app, you may have actually 2% at the time you make your DoorDash gift card purchase. And so how do you get to 4%? Well, the way you get to 4% is if you either don't want to use a credit card or you don't have one of the credit cards that I mentioned in that first level of the cashback stacking strategy, then you can connect your checking account and Flues will actually give you a bonus 2% cash back when you use your checking account. So that means when they have that 2% base offer that they, you know, that they offer periodically, then you'll get a additional 2% on top of that if you use your checking account to actually buy the gift card within the Flues app. And so when you make a purchase in the Flues app, when you're buying that DoorDash gift card, that can be up to $200 at a time. And of course you can buy, if you use you know DoorDash a lot, you can buy multiple gift cards at $200 maximum. And so you don't have to buy it all at once. If you're only making a $20 purchase, then you can just buy a $20 worth of your gift card. All you have to do is actually go in DoorDash. Once you make your order or you're about to make your order, once you get that total, including the tip, then you go back into the Flues app. You put in the exact amount that you want to purchase, which includes the tip for your purchase. And then you purchase that amount of the gift card within the Flues app. And then you use the gift card to actually make your purchase in the DoorDash app. And then that's how you get your cash back with DoorDash using the Flues app. Now, as I mentioned, because the default cashback is only 1% and you can bump it up to 3% by using your checking account, but if you want to get a higher rate or you want to get those points using your credit card, then of course you're going to use your credit card instead to make that purchase within Flues. But an alternate option you have for this level two would be using the Slide app. Now with the Slide app, you automatically get 4% cashback on any of the stores available within the Slide app and DoorDash happens to be one of the stores in that app. And so in order to really maximize on this cashback stacking strategy, you can use the Slide app with your credit card and then you'll get 4% through the Slide app and then whatever the cashback is for the specific credit card that you decide to use to make the purchase within the Slide app to buy a gift card. And so it works just like the Flues app. Within the Slide app, you're buying a gift card for DoorDash and then you use the gift card that you purchased in the Slide app to then make your purchase within the DoorDash app. And so with this cashback stacking strategy, this means that you should be able to get a minimum of 6% cashback total whenever you make a purchase with DoorDash. You should get a minimum of 2% depending on what credit card you use. It could be up to four times points, which is essentially 4% cashback with the MX Gold card or 3% cashback with the Costco card or three times points with the Chase Sapphire card. But you also have that DoorDash where you're getting 
the free delivery and lower service fees if you have the Chase Sapphire card. And then once you use the Flues app, you're getting a minimum of 1% up to as high as 4%. And then if you were to use the Slide app instead as your alternative uh, second level in this cashback stacking strategy, you're always going to get 4%. So that means every time you make a purchase with DoorDash, you should at least be getting 6% cashback. Otherwise, you're doing things wrong. And so if you've never used the Flues app or the Slide app, I do have a referral link so that you can sign up for both of those apps and you can start earning cash back on all of the purchases that you make with DoorDash as well as many other stores that are available within the app. And also, if you'd like to get that free Dash Pass for a year, they still have that promotion going on. I'll have a referral link to the Chase Sapphire card. And not only will you get the free Dash Pass if you sign up for that promotion, but you'll get 60,000 bonus points as long as you spend at least $4,000 within that first three months that you actually apply and receive the card. And so again, getting 6% cash back on all of your DoorDash purchases, especially if you're a person that uses DoorDash a lot, this is a great way for you to get some of that money back or essentially have your cash back kind of pay for your tip or increase the tip that you may want to give to the delivery drivers that are bringing you your food or bringing you your groceries. Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you're a person that hasn't used DoorDash before, I actually have a referral link to DoorDash as well. And with this referral link, you'll get $10 off your first three orders, as long as those orders are at least $15. And so I'll have that link available in the description as well, so that you can get $10 off your first three orders of $15 and over. And so there are many credit cards out there, which may also provide a bonus percentage, whether you're shopping at a restaurant or specifically for DoorDash or other delivery uh, providers. If you have a cashback card that you use that I didn't mention in this video, make sure you leave a comment below to let us know what specific cashback credit card you use for DoorDash or for restaurants or delivery services in general. Also, let us know what you think about this cashback stacking strategy. Make sure you leave a comment to show your success in using this strategy. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.